the use of language in answering chemistry questions is very, very important. I often find that students are very, very familiar with words like atom, molecule, ion, solution, concentration, because they're everyday words that people use. But when it comes to answering chemistry questions, it's very, very important that the student uses the word in the right context. So oftentimes they will mix up the word concentration with volume and while it seems very small in their eyes, it changes the entire meaning of the answer that they're putting down if they do mix them up. So it's very, very important to think and to make sure that you're using the right term when it comes to answering your question. With regards to experiments, because the experiments are worth at least well, 25 to 37 and a half percent in section A alone of the paper, it's really important that students understand and know their experiments properly. Um, one of the most common questions to be asked with regards to experiments is the word describe. Describe a procedure, describe how to use a piece of apparatus. Students need to be 100 percent sure that they are, their descriptions are detailed. Um, one of the most important piece of pieces of advice is to ensure that the student can describe every step in great accuracy and not leave out any of the detail at all required. And the analogy I usually give them is if I was asked to describe how to make a cup of tea, I would reply, do you want the description using a tea bag or tea leaves? Um, the method is different for both. So if a student writes something vague like pour water on the tea bag, I have visions of myself sitting or standing in the middle of the kitchen with a tea bag on the floor throwing water on top of it. The student hasn't told me to boil the water, hasn't told me to put the tea bag in a suitable container. So when it comes to experiments, one of the main areas that students can really improve their grades is to think their way through the experiment, ask themselves what exactly happens next be able to answer why in each case. Should solutions be added together quickly or slowly? Should you heat gently or should you heat quite dramatically? All of these things are going to factor in. So you know, be very careful about use of language. Make sure you know the meaning of the terms and things should go much, much better for them then.